Hi, I am Brett Dupree. Welcome to Joyous Expansion, where I help you live your spirituality and true values in your daily life. If you're a person who's just coming into spiritual awakening and want to have a deepening experience, that's the type of people I would love to work with. Today's tip is letting go. One of the most important aspects of our lives is letting go, also known as unattachment. As you can see, even in my video before, being attached to being unattached. Today, I'm going to be talking about being attached to people. I went to a class this weekend, and they gave us this nice poem by an unknown author. It's called, Letting Go Takes Love. To let go does not mean to stop caring. It means I can't do it for someone else. To let go is to not cut myself off it's a realization that I cannot control another. See how beautiful that is. You cannot control another person. Another person cannot ever act the way you want them to act for you to feel good. For you to be the person you know you could be. People have this weird thing called free will where they act like they want to act. Despite on how much you want them to act a different way. And letting go does not mean you stop caring for them. It means that you're not trying to do it for them. Let's go on. To let go is to not enable, but to allow learning from natural consequences. To let go is to admit powerlessness, which means the outcome is not in my hands. Ah, isn't that beautiful? When you're letting go, you're not allowing the person to mess up their life. You're allowing them to learn because you're going to learn anyway. You can give them all the advice you want. You can give them all your knowledge. However, words do not teach. Actions do. And a lot of times it's the other person's actions that teach them. Some people, I believe it was Douglas Adams who said, human beings have the amazing ability to learn from other people's experiences and the wherewithal to not do so. Something like that. To let go is to not try to change or blame another. It's to make most of myself. To let go is to not care for, but to care about. To let go is to not fix, but to be supportive. You can't fix anybody. It is impossible to change anyone else's life. They have to want to change. That is actually one of the basics of life coaching. My job is not to change you. My job is to give you the tools and give the environment and questions and just be there for you so you can change yourself. It's such a beautiful, ah, it's so beautiful. I love it. Where was I? To let go is not to judge, but to allow another to be a human being. That's all you can do. To let go is to not be in the middle of arranging all outcomes, but to allow others to affect their destinies. To let go is to not be protective, but it's to permit another to face reality. To let go is to not deny, but it is to accept. To let go is not to nag, scold, or argue, but instead to search out my own shortcomings and correct them, because my own are the only shortcomings that I can correct. Think about it. You can only change you. And the amazing part is, when you change yourself, the world just changes around you. The more positive you are, the more joyous you are, the more joy that surrounds you, the more joyous people that surround you. In fact, even some of the people who didn't act joyously now act happier around you. I can honestly say, once I got on my path and started becoming a happier and more joyful people person, it was amazing how people really wanted to hang out with me. It surprised me so much. I went from a person who had a few good friends and not much to do to someone who has their party list pretty filled up. Well, and to let go is to not adjust everything to my desires but to take each day as it comes and cherish myself in it. 
To let go is to not criticize or regulate anybody, but to try to become what I dream to be. To let go is to not regret the past, but to grow and live for the future. Look towards the future. Live in the present. Learn from the past. That is how we live a good life. Richard Bandler said it best. The best part about the past is that it's over. And the best part about the future, it's yet to come. Whew. To let go is to fear less and love more. Remember, the time to love is short. Ah, isn't that just a beautiful poem? I will be putting a link to it in my blog. And you'll be able to read it without me saying any commentary. You can even add your own. What have you learned to let go? Myself, I had a relationship last year. And I had to learn to let go of it. And once I let go of it, I became a more joyous and happier person because of it. Letting go is the epitome of love. Letting go is amazing. So in 2011, who do you need to let go so you can gain peace and really be there for that person? Namaste. Subscribe to my channel for more of these. Also check out my blog, which should be below, for more tips on how to live a joyous life. Go to my website, download my ebook. It's free, and learn how to write intentions so you can be happier and filled with more joy. Thank you, and have a great night, or day, depending on what time you're at.